good. Got the downstairs. What's up, everybody? Joe Bump here. Um, we're doing a little project at the house. I, I haven't shown you guys what's been going on, but we've been doing a little home renovation. Um, my uncle, who you met in a previous video, he has a construction business. We're doing siding, windows, um, and then as a side project, I want to put a, a, a door in the back of my garage. We didn't have one, so going out back was always a pain in, in the ass. So. Uh, I just want to do a little film and show you guys what's going on here. Uh, I feel awkward because everybody's looking at me filming myself, but uh, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and get going. Here we have Unc. Unc, this UNC, just Unc. What's up, guys? What's up? Uncle Joe, but... Uncle Joe to me, Unc to you guys. Unc, you There's know. Cole. Then we got Herm or Mark over there. He's ready to go. He's in his Friday mode. So, Joey, uh, explain us what we have going on. We're kind of in the middle of the project, guys. We, we had to get some stuff done the other night, and then the rain kind of stopped us from filming today. So kind of explain what we've done so far and then where we're going from here, dude. Well, what we have going on here, I'll move this ladder out of the way. You had just a plain wall here. Right, just like... Which is stupid, and they did it in these kind of developments just to save money. They should have put a door in here. Uh, it's code now, you have to have a, some kind of access to the outside from the garage on the new house. Um, so what we did was, to support the weight of the beams above the roof trusses, we had to put a header across. So we, we utilized one of the old two by fours, we put a jack stud on top of that, and we made the opening, we cut the opening. The wall was like this when we started. We made the opening fit that door. So basically the rough opening for a 32 inch door is what we made this frame here. We cut it right down to the lowest point possible for the foundation. Now we'll take a tube of silicone and really load that up really good with silicone and set the door right into that. Give it a water, uh, weather tight seal. Right. Now the header you said that's because the uh, the trusses on the roof are sitting on you the side wall, right? You have roof trusses every two feet or 16 inches on center on all roofs. And you can't just go and, and cut an opening and stick a door in without there being some kind of structural integrity damage. Where it'll sag, the plate will sag, uh, the plate will crack. In, most, in some cases, if it's a, a, a huge opening, like an eight foot opening, you can have a collapse. That's why we a bigger opening, we'll put a temporary wall in before we cut anything out. But this was just only spanning two roof trusses. Um, the weight was pretty much intact, so I just, I cut the opening. And now, this will never sag. That that two by eight is code for uh, that opening. Awesome. And then the guys, so what you're looking at, this wall over here was just like that one. You can see the old studs up top, because it's obviously a different color, because they're from 87. Um, and like you say, just cut a hole in the wall. Luckily, we were doing the siding, so we didn't have to worry about messing anything up outside. And I'll show you guys that all later. Um, but uh, I guess here in a minute we're going to go ahead and, and, and I don't know what our next step is, but we'll, when we get going, I'll, I'll come back to you guys in a little bit. All right? You need to lock the sheathing into your framing. So we can't leave this loose and hang the door in there. So we have to take the roof and nails. Every 12 to 16 inches. Every 12 to 16. Nail that in, and that'll lock this sheathing and lock this stud together. And I'll, you said they're roofing nails? Just standard roofing, roofing nails? Roofing nails, yeah. But you won't even need to really do that unless you're putting a door in this kind of sheathing because. Nobody uses this kind of sheathing anymore. Gotcha. So nowadays it's probably sheathing. be, but a lot of houses are built in you know, 87 right. before, so. so yeah. This is called have a again. thermoply sheathing, which is just basically cardboard. Gotcha. That's cardboard. So what we're doing to upgrade your sheathing now, we're adding a 3 8 foam backer board over top the sheathing to to establish your half inch wall gotcha. depth. Gotcha. Yeah, I got it. Right, he's beasting it. All right, what we're doing, guys, we're just dry fitting the door. Dry fit the door. I like the act like I know what I'm talking about. Before you silicone the foundation or sill, you must dry fit it. You don't want to have to pull this out after you've already siliconed it. So Can you pull the uh, bottom piece off there, Mark? Yes, sir. So I don't lift weights. So what I do is... I lift doors! I just military press the door a couple times before I put it in. <laughs> That's my exercise for the week, guys. Oh, my shoulder! Ah! <laughs> I'm out. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a tour rotator cuff. Oh, you were, I thought you were kidding. <laughs> that really happened. Whoa, whoa. Easy. Like a glove. Like a glove? Like a glove. <laughs> oh. That's good. Seriously, I do have a tunnel rotator. Should have been doing that in a hurt a little bit. Why <laughs> don't play around with jobs like that? That's Safety right. first. Safety because first. as you can see, this lip right here, that goes on the outside of the door. That's the brick mold. Right. And what we'll do is there's uh, a couple of places that the door gets installed. We'll pre-drill through this. 
We'll throw three or four inch uh, galvanized screws through this. And then once you open the door up, they give you a door pack with uh, brass screws and weather stripping. So we'll throw a long screw through each hinge to hold the weight of this door. You don't need to do that on interior doors because they're hollow core, they're not as heavy. Right. These doors are heavy, they'll sag, so you have to have the screw there to keep them from now, sagging. Now, it didn't look heavy because he was just beasting it around, but you gotta understand, guys, he does this for a living. <laughs> and then what we'll do is, um, after we put the screws through here, this, this trim will get uh, capped with aluminum. So the rest of it matches the rest of the house. Now what we'll do, what we're doing now is, you have to have a watertight seal down there. So Mark's gonna take the regular uh, silicone. Standard clear silicone. Doesn't matter. Right, we had, I found another half a tube of silicone, so you can never have enough. So I'm just gonna load it up right in here, especially in the corners there. I'll fill this hole in right here, and I'll just use the rest of this tube up. On this corner here especially, that's where the water wants to penetrate the most, because it wants to come into the corners. Your threshold will overhang to here, We'll put a kick plate on there next. And what this also does is, this is a water sealer, and it also helps install the door. It keeps the seal set to the bottom. Nasty stuff. It's like, it's like an, an, an adhesive. You know people are gonna step on that seal while they're in and out. So yeah, it's right. Gonna, it's gonna keep it from doing any kind of from moving and damage down the road. Nice. And a hard drive on rain, no water's gonna get in there. Nice. All right, so now we're gonna set the door. Alright, it's using pre-drilling to put the screws in that'll insulation screws for the door. There are four inch screws going through that brick mold. So instead of drilling through there and splitting the brick mold, we're pre-drilling them to put the screws in to install the door. Um, one of us will be on the outside, one of us will be on the inside. We'll either center in the opening or a lot of times I like to take the hinge side um, hinge side tight to the two by fours because we're screwing to it. Gotcha. And then We'll put the screws in on the outside. We'll get the uh, door level operating properly. Throw the screws in it, and that's the first part of the installation process. Then we'll come inside, shim everything, throw the screws in the hinges, and throw some trim nails through the jam of the door into the two by four. That's going to hold it as well. Nice. Rain won't stop, so we're going to set this door in the rain today. That's it. It's Friday. Get a little this wet. We're in. We've been here since seven o'clock this morning, so. And I press door two, bro. Don't do it because you might, you know, what happens? We'll need two guys hurt around here. All right. Now he's going to go inside and center it in the opening. I think this is busting my ass. You want your big bubble out here, correct? Yes, yes, please. It's out there, right? Yep, it's right there. Good, Mark. Okay, I'll throw a screw in the bottom. Just like that, we got a door in the open. Yeah, I'm gonna check, check the bottom for level. Pretty good. <coughs> open this up, Mark. Open that, open the door up. Rain won't stop, so we're going to set this door to rain. Boom. It's Friday. Oh, it's oh, oh. We've been here since 7 o'clock this morning, so. And I press door two. Oh, good. We don't need two guys right around here. All right. Now, he's going to go inside and center the opening. You want your big level out here, correct? Yes, please. Yes, sir. You get my... Right there. I gotta go. You know what, Joe? Your bottom is pretty well. Your bottom's pretty well centered. Okay. I'll throw it through the bottom. The top needs to go over though. So check for plumb first. Yeah, I'm gonna check check the bottom for level. Pretty good. Hold on. Good. I gotta get a good fit. This fits no good. Turn it off. 
So you just put the one in there so you can still make your adjustments. Now you just get it, get so it it's centered in the opening. Do your bottom. Do a little plumbing up here. We know that's out by the bit. Now I know the bottom's staying where it's got to go. We can take the door this way if we have to. Gotcha. So it's in place, but you can still make your adjustments. The top's yeah. got to go that way about three quarters of an inch. I'm going to hold my level here. All right. Do you my hand? Bubble right between those two lines, and go, go ahead and put, it on, put it on the jam, Mark. They're, they're brick mold looking real crooked. This jam is black. Yeah, you're perfect. Mm -hmm. so, I'll check his, his work. Doesn't get no better than that. We can check for um, the reveal and how the door is operating, and then we'll put the rest of the screws in, and we'll shim everything else to finish the installation. Nice. All right, we'll put that ball there to see if it's good. Excellent. That's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. It, it could go up. Man, not, not enough to worry about. Yeah. It's way too close, Joe. It'll, yeah, you're right. Because the hole so, in the keeper, the strike plate, and yeah. the door knob. Yeah, we're good. We're keeping, it, we're keeping it where it's at. Is that you were saying about the reveal? Explain it to me real quick. See how it's it's tighter. It's tighter up here. It's tighter down here. It's loose here. What we'll do is when we shim the door and put our nails through this way. Right. We'll get that reveal tight like that. So God, did you put more shims in that area to get it? Shim here, here. Shim here. Shim here. Shim on each hinge. Long screws that way. We don't have any shims on the site today. Right, which that'll be finished, you know, Monday, but that's fine. But this is how you install a door with the pros. That's right. 101. I'm not a pro, but, you know, he's my uncle, so it counts for something. There we go. There's a little channel in here. You thread the screws through. You get it started with your uh, screwdriver. Just a four-in-one screwdriver, small Phillips, big Phillips. You flip it around. There's a small flat and a big flat on the other side. Nice tool to have. Finish Most homeowners, you want to do it yourself. Get yourself a nice, nice drill, cordless drill, magnetic tips with the slide tip to guide. Yeah, that's real nice. All right, then just finish it off with this. And I, I like to set the torque down a little bit on my drill. So I know I'm not going to be stripping the screw or over tightening it. You got to be real careful doing it with the screw gun because if you do it real fast on a fast setting, you don't have your torque set, you can strip these screws and out then and then you'll stuck. never get them out. Right. That's something that I would do for so, any typical homeowner who doesn't have a uh, right. mechanical sense to them. So there's the, the bottom handle. Same principle for the for the deadbolt, you have Defiant or Quick Set. Defiant's a little less expensive than the Quick Set. They're still uh, both great handles. Less Doesn't matter expensive. which one you pick. Good. Same thing with the deadbolt. You put the latch part up first. There's an up arrow on the deadbolt. You put that side up. That's Even helps you get stuff done. Yes. All right, guys. Well, I'm, we're gonna get it, cut it off here. Um, just show put that deadbolt in, and then I'll, you know, I'll, I'll show you a picture. I'll put a picture up of the finalized door, maybe as a thumbnail. And um, I guess it's about it. Keep an eye on my channel, guys. I'm gonna have Uncle on a few more videos. We're gonna do a lot, a whole fancy football series. Um, I hope we get that out once a week, starting probably at the end of the month of July, maybe the beginning of August, right for the season to start. Um, he is a three peat champion. What, six? How many championships six, you got? Six. six? I just won my sixth title in 18 years in the same league. Yeah, so six championships. I only have one, but I haven't been doing it as long. But I'll bring you guys a trophy. I'll show the trophy on our first segment. Yeah, see, so he he can back it up with uh, back up all the talk with uh, 
rings and titles. Um, but anyway, we're going to give you some advice on that, guys. Hopefully you watch that. Keep an eye out for some more do-it-yourself videos. And uh, I guess that's it. So until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace out. Uh, Joey came out Monday morning, or Monday today, and he's working here all week. But Uncle came out and uh, finished capping the outside of the door so it's all nice and metal. It's going to match the windows like that one right there. That one's got the water around it, but you know what I mean. Um, let's go inside and take a look at it so you guys can see the shims that he was telling me about that he had to put in there um, to pack it out with to keep everything even. All right, as you can see there, there they are right there. There's little strips of wood you put in there, you cut them down. Uh, what they do, they put them out deep, they stuff them in there until it's all even and level, and then they just slice it down with a knife. Um, and then here is, uh, again, this is a garage, so they had to use this to kind of make it work for now. Um, inside the house, you do it a little bit differently, obviously, but this is the garage, so it's fine. And that's the final product. So you guys saw from pretty much the beginning of the outside door jam and with the door getting in there. Um, definitely a job that you can do it yourself on uh, if you have that kind of, that kind of um, ability to do things like this. Um, with a little help from a friend, you can definitely do it. I suggest two people, two-man job, and a two-man job and a YouTube video, I think, and you guys can get it done. Um, all right, well, I guess that's it for now. So uh, I'll catch you all on the flip side. And uh, peace out. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if you like it. It's important. And subscribe for more content, guys. I mean, I'm trying to put out as much as I possibly can. So subscribe for more content. I'll talk to you all soon.